I'm food application scientist Patty Reyes. Welcome to the Accelerated Cooking Products Culinary Center. In this video, I'll discuss the RC and HDC heavy volume microwave ovens. There are three models available in the RC series with 1700 watts, 2200 watts, or 3000 watts of cooking power. At least 1700 watts of microwave energy is recommended for steaming. Yes, microwaves can steam food. These ovens are ideal alternatives to tabletop steamers. Higher wattage not only means faster cooking, it also means food retains excellent color, texture, and nutrients. Food doesn't turn out rubbery or wilted as it would in lower wattage microwaves. Steaming is done without additional water, drain lines, vent hoods, and deliming headaches. The RC is one cubic foot in capacity, meaning it holds two four deep half size pans. As you can see, an HDC stacks nicely on the RC. Two RC ovens can be stacked without the use of a kit or stand. The only exception is the RC30, which cannot be stacked due to its weight. Stacking ovens saves valuable counter space. Operating two ovens at the same time also improves throughput and production. There are three models available in the HD series as well, with 1200 watts, 1800 watts, or 2100 watts of cooking power. All feature a 0.6 cubic foot cavity. They are ideal for re-therming and steaming single portions of food and small plates. HDC stands for Heavy Duty Compact. Note its small footprint, which makes it ideal for small kitchens with limited counter space. Like the RC ovens, the HDC are built to withstand up to 200 uses per day. A MANA commercial model, HDC 12A2, operates on a 120 volt circuit, so no special electrical is needed to use the oven. Reference the specification comparison chart in our brochure to check electrical requirements of all ACP models. Both the RC and HDC are energy efficient, costing less than a dollar a day in electricity. The Amana Commercial brochure also outlines average energy costs for each model along with helpful feature comparisons. Up to 100 menu items can be saved in each model. 11 power levels and 4 stages allow programming flexibility to cook food items to perfection. The specially designed dual magnetron system delivers microwave energy from both the top and bottom of the cavity, providing even and consistent cooking results. Now let's talk about programming. HDC models only have one control panel along the top. The RC has top and side control panels. Programming keys are found on the top control panel on the RC. The quantity or times eight key allows up to eight portions to be cooked at one time. The HDC cooks up to two portions at once. Use the clock symbol to manually enter cooking times. This symbol is on the far left corner of the HDC control panel. Moving from left to right on the RC, the next symbol is used to enter power levels. On the HDC keypads, it is located next to the start key. Both the RC and HDC have 11 power levels from 0% or no microwave energy to 100% microwave energy. Power levels can be entered in 10% increments. The next symbol on the RC control panel is used to program stages. Each program can include up to four cooking stages. This symbol is not on the HDC control panel, but the HDC also features stage cooking. I will show you how to program the HDC shortly. The last symbol on the RC control panel, which looks like a book, is the program save key. Press this key to enter programming mode and to save new programs. Now let's put it all together. I'll use a baked potato as an example. I will save my new baked potato program to the number one keypad. First, open the door so ready appears in the display. Press the book symbol. Select the number one keypad. Now, press the clock or the time entry key and enter the desired cooking time using the number keys. Next, enter power level by selecting the triangle symbol and again using the number keys, zero equals no microwave energy, one equals 10%, two equals 20%, and so on. The default power level is 100%. If I wanted to continue adding stages to this program, I would now select the stage key and continue entering cook times and power levels for each stage until my program is complete. To exit and save programming, again, select the book symbol or program save. 
I'll program the same item in the HDC. First, open the oven door. Then, press and hold pad number 1 for 5 seconds until the oven beeps. Select a keypad to be reprogrammed. Enter cooking time by using the number pads. Next, press the power level pad to enter desired microwave power. 1 equals 10%, 2 equals 20%, and so on. Entering 0 turns off the microwave energy. Then, press the time entry pad to add up to four additional cooking stages. Total cooking time cannot exceed 60 minutes. Continue entering cook times and power levels until the program is complete. Press the start pad to save the program. To discard changes, press the stop reset pad or close the oven door. Now, I'll quickly go over how to enter cook times manually. I will demonstrate by preparing a poached egg. It is very important to know that eggs cannot be cooked inside the shell with microwave ovens. They will explode. Poached eggs are okay because they are cooked out of the shell in a Cambro pan of water. First, open the oven door and place the pan in the oven. Then, press the time entry pad and enter the cooking time. Press the power level pad and enter microwave power. Finally, press the start pad. In just 50 seconds, I have a beautifully poached egg. The whites of the egg have solidified nicely around the yolk, which is still runny. Now, I'd like to demonstrate